Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Be happy, be positive, you are strong. Now, I know that's not easy and I know it is certainly not easy to find yourself to think that way. But life can often be testing and believe you me, I know that more than most in the last couple of months, I really do. I've lost somebody who I've really always thought in my in my heart would always, always be there. And in my mind, I always thought that my dear Nan would be there. Life has completely changed. And I ultimately feel on a daily basis, not sometimes all day, but parts of a day where I feel as I'm thrown into a complete darkness. Sometimes I find it really, really hard to find positivity. I find it really difficult to be happy and I find it really, really tough to be positive. But of course, and this is why I've started my clip with that title, that we are often stronger than what we think we are. And if you'd have asked me several years ago if this would have ever happened, I would have always, always come straight back to you with, that would be it, life would be over, or I would be with my nan, or something along those lines when of course actually when we pause and we reflect on those thoughts sadly time continues time doesn't stand still now most nights i i take i say most nights every night i take a moment and i reflect on the things which have recently happened and do you know what an inner strength comes through an inner sort of Sort of a feeling of you've got to kind of get it together not just for now but for my other family for my mum for my dad for my future because of course ultimately i tried to tell myself that my nan would have wanted me to have had a strong amazing future and i know for a fact she'd wish me all those wonderful things now this clip is not necessarily talking about grief or talking about bereavement but it's 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 my way of saying, whatever happens in that moment, try not to concentrate on the negativity. Try not to concentrate that, yes, your life is turned upside down. But take each day as it comes, take each hour as it comes. And you know what? That's the only way I've been able to get through these last couple of months. I'm not thinking about the future. I'm not thinking of the first Christmas without my nan. I'm not thinking of the firsts without my nan. Um, I'm taking each day as it comes, and some days are good, and some days are bad. Some are absolutely horrendous. But do you know what I do? I still try to smile. I still try to be positive. And this is where I get it from. When you turn the TV on and you see all the horrific things that are happening in this world, say for example, only just this month, the horrific things which have happened to some of the girls in the media, where at such a young age, their life has been taken from them through absolutely horrific, just counts of evil. And when you think that things like that happen in the world, but yet my nan got to lead a full life and was this beautiful and is this beautiful lady, this beautiful soul. And now she has taken her step in her life, in her journey, to where I truly believe she is with the Lord above. Now that to me, brings me comfort to think that one day I will join her. And when you take a moment to think of all of those families which are going through that absolute, there are no words for it, are there? That, that despair, that grief, that horror, thinking that are they going to actually wake up from all of this? And sadly, they're not. That, that's what they have to go through. Then when I sometimes take a moment and I think of that, it actually then makes me think of that my own life is such a blessing and that I was blessed with my nan for as many years as I've had her. And that she'll always be my nan and she'll always be there. It is tough and it is difficult. But sometimes what what in, in that moment when it is so difficult to find a sense of happiness or a sense of positivity, I think we kind of almost have to forget ourselves in that moment and we have to concentrate on, and that's really difficult in itself, and we have to concentrate on the world around us and the people around us. Because of course, when you think that in this country alone, that there are people with not enough food, there are people with no one, there are people with nothing. 
and even just myself, when I think of the true blessing of family I have, and I think of all the wonderful memories I've shared with my nan, and they will always be here and here, I truly know that then I can't quite be on that cliff edge. I can't quite be in that that spiral of despair where I think that nothing is ever going to be happy again or the light's never ever going to happen again or the sun's never going to kind of rise again. All of those thoughts where you think to yourself that the day I lost my man, I truly, truly thought that that was it, life was over. I truly did think that. Some days I still do. But in those moments, I kind of try to, and I try to, and I try to think of what Nan would have done, what Nan would have been like. She'd lost two children, and she'd lost her husband, my grandfather. She never got through it, but she learnt to gather life together again. She learnt to be able to take a step forward again. What pains and hurts me is when I don't hear my Nan being talked about so much. And when I hear, not in my house, in my mum and in my brother, she's talked about daily. And that warms my heart, it really does. And it brings a smile to my face. But my extended family, when I don't hear her mention the hurts, I could go away and I could cry, to be quite honest with you. And I do. I do. Very often I do. I wake up in the middle of the night and I do. And I find myself in tears thinking, I'm never going to have this again. I'm never going to see her again. And then I think to myself, you will. You really, really will. And I know I will. And I know she's always with me. So I suppose what I'm trying to relate here is I'm trying to get something off my chest. I've had a day where I've tried to smile and I've tried to be okay with all of my family. And on the outside, everything's smiling and happy. But on the inside, you could say that the cracks are starting to appear. I'm on a day where I'm finding it difficult. I try to look outside. I try to look what other people are going through. You know what, I went out today with my brother and my mum and I found myself looking around wondering what other people are going through. And for me, sometimes, not all the time, that's a kind of a coping mechanism. I try to be overly polite. I try to overly be almost apologetic. Sometimes for just being present, I suppose. Just because when you hear of all the awful things in this world, I mean, I'm 28. There are people who have passed away and have died horrifically far, far younger than me. And then I think to myself, what right do I have to be down when I've had all these wonderful memories of my nan? And my nan, very nearly up to 95 years of age. And those poor people, those poor girls we've heard in the media this month alone here in the UK, they won't even get to a third of my nan's age. They won't have those incredible moments, those incredible memories. And then I think to myself, Bradley, you've got to rise your back, you've got to smile, you've got to be happy, and you've got to be thankful. Because I think ultimately you have to be thankful for what you have, and you have to be thankful for what you had. And that will always be. I'm not taking a step forward, and I'm certainly not, It's I, it will never be okay with me that this has happened to my nan. It will never ever be okay, and I will never get over it. I hate that phrase. But but you, but I, I, some days I can see that you do learn to take a step forward. But I think to me, you start with being happy or showing that you're trying to be happy, being positive and being strong. Because ultimately, these things have a way of making us stronger. And that ultimately is what my nan taught me, that these things have a way of making us stronger. Because you, you find that courage to deal with things on a daily basis. I have to face my mum on a daily basis that she doesn't have her mum anymore. I have to face different situations without having my nan to turn to. I speak to her often through the Lord above. But you use that sense of courage. You find that strength. You find that willpower to face situations. And you know what? I find myself developing in areas which I never ever thought would. I mean stronger, I mean more sort of empowered, making decisions, making plans for future and things. It's it's like my man is is still teaching me. And that to me just is incredible and I am truly thankful. 
So what I say to you, whatever situation you find yourself in, and it might not be grief, hopefully it's not, it might be that you're at your lowest point ever. Don't forget that sometimes from the darkest situation, there can be positivity. And you may think to yourself, what on earth is he going on about? There can be good found in the most horriblest of situations, which you will make your way through. You'll grow, you'll develop, you'll change as a person. You have so much to offer. You really do. I often try to branch out, as to speak, and I try to think how I can help. So I do charities. For example, I love the Alzheimer's research because, of course, my nan had Alzheimer's disease. So I, right now, actually, I was um, looking at sort of, some, I'm doing some raffle tickets and things for the Alzheimer's research. Secretly, I've bought them all. But but still, the, the process is there. Um, be happy, even if you're not like me. Try and fake it till you are there one day. I feel guilty sometimes even smiling. I feel guilty doing things which I enjoy. And then I look at my nan and I think to myself, I know what you'd say to me. And she always said, I think the world of you, my love, and although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be looking down on you and I'll always be with you. My nan never ever thought she'd see me grow up. But she's seen me until the age of 27 and I shortly had my 28th birthday just after she passed away. Talking about my nan, it makes me smile. It makes me, I'm so ultimately proud that I get to call my nan, my nan. I'm blessed with an incredible family. So if you take anything from what I'm saying to you here, try to be positive. Try, even though you're not happy, Try to smile. Try to do one thing you enjoy. Try to do, even if it's the silliest of things, smile. Because when you smile, it's almost like a door opens. And it's almost like that you've allowed yourself to breathe just for that moment. You can worry. Let tomorrow worry about itself, I always say. And I always, I love this phrase. I love this phrase. That I always... It's difficult to kind of put into context, but nobody is promised a tomorrow. Nobody. And a lot of people know that more than most. But if we are blessed with another day, grant with both hands. That's what I am trying to do. So be happy. Try and be positive. You're stronger than you realise. You're braver than you realise. You've got more courage than you ever thought. We all have it. It's just a case of finding it. It's Saturday evening. Try and enjoy something. Try and be positive. You're stronger than you think. For what I'm going through, if I can help just one person smile or lift that load a little bit off of your back of how you're feeling or what you're going through, if it's just one person for one minute, then I've done a little bit of good in this world, which I'd like to do. I intend to do going forward in this in this future I have, which is a blessing, of course, to us all, if we can call. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can call it that. And it certainly is. Right now, I don't feel like there's a future ahead, but there is. And you know what? Sometimes telling ourselves that, that one day this will make us stronger, it will be part of us. And you know what? We'll be able to hold on to all of what we're going through right now and we'll be stronger. We'll be stronger emotionally, mentally, sometimes physically. And yeah, you'll be a better version of yourself almost. I hope that makes sense. I hope I've helped you. It really, really helps me to get this off my chest as well. I use my channel, it's almost like a virtual diary to get all these troubling thoughts and feelings off my chest. That's what my channel's about. A bumpy road of life with great hair, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks very much for sharing this with me. It really does mean the world. And from me to you, if you want to ask me anything, if I can help you with anything at all, please leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. With all my heart, I wish you the very, very best. Thanks very much for being here. And until next time, I wish you all the very best in this life. Thanks very much. God bless. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye bye now.